Um, I'll be remiss if I wouldn't tell you about my good friend, Eddie Brown. Now, Eddie Brown is a lifelong resident here in the city of Port Arthur. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when I do this work and when I talk about pollution and being, people being impacted, I'm often talking about other people. But uh, it's really hitting home for me. Eddie Brown and I, we grew up like brothers. I mean, and even today, Eddie Brown runs a boxing gym and he has been very instrumental in taking, oh man, hundreds of kids off the street by teaching them the art of boxing. I mean, and not just to get into brawls, but to give them something constructive to be into and to give them a, a, a place to come and get off the street. He also has a little studio where they have a dance studio right next to the boxing gym and he allowed people to use it for free. This is the kind of guy, man, who give you the shirt off his back if he had to, or if he could and he could help you. I mean, uh, and right now, I'm sad to say that Eddie Brown is fighting with cancer. We discovered that um, he had cancer about two weeks ago, and here it is. What is it? Today is February the uh, uh, um, what the seventh? What, what the seventeenth? The seventeenth. And um, he's, he's fighting for his life right now. I can't believe it. And I just discovered three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that he had cancer. He confided in me and told me. And, you know, when he told me this, man, I, I, did, I was shocked. But I didn't want it to show on my face. You know, I just wanted to try to still be strong for him. I, didn't, I was just kind of like side blinded by the, the information he just gave me. And then uh, I took a few days and I thought about it. And I went back to Eddie because, you know, he's kind of a private guy. And I told Eddie, I said, you know what, I think it's critically important that you let people know about your condition because you have a lot of folks out there that love you and that care for you and that probably want to do something to help. I said, and I know you're my homie and I want to help in some way right now. I want to help you. So uh, I think you'll be, it, it, it would really do you a disservice not to open up about this cancer and talk to people about your condition and give them opportunity to show their love. And he told me, he said, well, Pop, that's my nickname, Pop, my real name, Hilton Kelly. He said, Pop, if you feel that way, man, he said, I, I, I give you my permission to go ahead and do whatever it is you need to do. I said, well, social media is the best way to get to people. And so um, I went on social media and I started talking to people in my circle, my friends, about Eddie Brown. And everybody in this town know Eddie. Eddie is a barber. He's a boxing coach. He used to box when he was a kid. He used to box Golden Glove. <clears throat> and uh, he's helped so many people in this community in so many ways. Some folks in this town have had fires at their homes, lost everything. Eddie's one of the first people to step up and donate to that cause. Um, Sometimes when it's back to school, a lot of the mothers around here don't have money to get their kids' haircuts. Eddie will cut hair all day just to make sure that those kids have a decent haircut when they go back to school. And there are other things with this environmental work. Eddie has supported this work um, by coming to meetings, by campaigning to help stop pollution uh, with me, with CETA, with our organization. This guy is a nonstop support machine. And to think now that as I sit here doing this interview that Eddie is fighting for his life against cancer Eddie <clears throat> discovered that there was a growth in his uh, uh, in, in, in his um, prostate, or and, it's, and uh, they discovered that the growth it, it was like a, a tumor, and so they got the tumor out, and then they ran tests on the tumor and found out that the tumor was cancerous, <clears throat> and then they did further tests, they found out that um, the cancer was in Eddie's bladder and definitely in his prostate and that it was aggressive. And so he called me up a couple of weeks ago and told me that it was aggressive. They wanted to do another surgery to try to remove some more of the tumor. And they told him that it wasn't necessary because the tumor was aggressive and it was moving. So they didn't want him to start chemo immediately. Eddie Brown is a great guy. I mean, he's the kind of guy that, you know, if you know a guy in your community that's always helping somebody, that's Eddie Brown in our community. And so we kind of started this crowdfunding uh, fundraising deal for him because, yes, he has some insurance, but it's not enough to uh, help offset some of the bills that he's going to incur in his fight for his life. 
So we set up this site and um, it's www.youcaring.org youcaring.org slash Eddie Brown and that's E-D-D-I-E B-R-O B-R-O-W-N Brown Okay, um, so that's that's it. That's that's the guy that we're fighting for, Eddie Brown, and um, I can't say enough about him. And uh, it really disturbs me to know that my good friend, my lifelong friend, is going through this. And so, if anybody out there who would like to contribute, please uh, know that you're helping a great person who have helped a lot of great kids here in this community to grow and kept them safe off the street. He's, I'm pretty sure you have Eddie Brown in your community, but this guy is a great guy, and we're doing everything we can here in Port Arthur to really help because this guy has helped so many. And once again, if you could, please help. Uh, you caring, Y-O-U, C-A-R-I-N-G, you caring slash Eddie Brown, and that's E-D-D-I-E-B-R-O-W-N. Thank you guys so much, and thank you for allowing me to uh, make this announcement for my good friend, Eddie Brown.